ultramarine just to blue it off a bit okay and I'm water I'm going to dilute it and I've got his because his shadow I'm over the top of the gouache and everything comes down there and I'm going to add that also under there and coming right down shadows are important that's what um, helps things to look three-dimensional and come to life hello Fiona these beautiful thank you thank you they are gorgeous looking birds they are gorgeous looking birds and it's lots and lots of fun lots and lots of fun to try and paint them I've actually only painted them a couple of times I haven't painted them an awful lot I've done more cockatoos than I've done of these little guys but it is lots and lots of fun and I've got it darkened into his into the edge of his beak as well but I'm gonna use the gouache for that into there all right now he's got I've done the shadow under there I'm just having a look I've got it because there is I'm gonna darken up the background around him but I'm gonna use go back to watercolor so I'm jumping all over the place I'm using gouache I'm using watercolor and I just splattered my painting but that's okay <laughs> the lag is bad is, where's the lag on oh okay I apologize I don't know why that is I don't know why there's lag it could be the weather okay and I'm gonna add a bit of that pink in actually have a look oh good I think I'm missing half of what you're saying though oh no that's no good is anyone else having trouble I hope not I'm sorry guys okay so I'm gonna add uh, I've got to do is the detail on his foot so I'm gonna go in with that neutral tint and just add because he's got little lines on his toes because I never know if it's at my end or at the other end when when there's lag and stuff because Australia's internet is not good so I just pop his little details there I think I've seen them at the botanical gardens yes they're everywhere here they are everywhere here Alright, so we're getting there. The red is hard to replicate. The red is almost impossible. <laughs> almost impossible. Hubby got camera out. They always flew away. When... Oh, yeah! It's always the way. It is always the way. Uh, now, I'm going to grab... I'm going to make... Mm, I need to mix up a, a purple. So I'm going to go... A bit of my... Ultra. I'm going to grab, clean my brush. So I'm making this out of gouache, I'm making a really dark purple because I want to get some real contrasty shadowy bits on my flowers. The very underneath. I don't want them just looking all one colour. Maybe into there. So that would be in shadow there. Favourite have quite a few in my part of Sydney. Yes. Yeah, we're, like I was just saying, we've got them everywhere here at the moment because we've just cut our hay because I'm on a farm. And we've just cut hay, so there's all the fresh green shoots underneath and they're coming down to eat the seed. Um, so we've got black cockatoos, white cockatoos, rosellas, these little guys, you name it, we've got it at the moment. It is nuts. <laughs> last night we were sitting outside having a barbecue and it was just so loud with all the squawking <laughs> but it was wonderful but yeah very 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 loud so now I'm actually going to add I am going to try and add he does have a green around his eye on I might I'll try the chromium just it's the watercolor over the top so we'll see how that goes it might just add enough of a greeny tint just enough of a little tint that will help me and a little bit down onto his neck 
the back just a little not a not a lot just a little like that all right I've actually got to blend I'm going to clean my brush because this paint paint will re-wet because it's I can soften that edge and just drag just because I've had a bit too much white happening down there just gonna add a little bit tiny little bit more green back into there there we go that's better I had a bit of a gap where I didn't want a bit of a gap all right he's not far from being done guys I'm actually quite happy with it um I mean I could go on and on but it's quite keep it simple I think I'm gonna go a bit of turquoise down onto how am I going to do that now he's actually got you can I can see it I'm trying I'm trying to decide whether I want to incorporate it into my picture a little bit of a blue line around his eye I'm just going to define these wing feathers a little bit more just define them a tiny little bit more I mean, I'm not doing photographic by any means. I'm just suggesting, suggesting the feathers. It does a, does a job for me. It does what I need it to do. Um, is that, the colours on this bird is just phenomenal, really. Like, they're just incredible looking things. I'm still, even just looking at it, I'm blown away by the intensity of the colours. I'm just going to get a little bit more... Uh, my favourite, oh, uh, my favourite, quite a few of my past here. It was funny, before I came on here, I was looking at reference photos. I was thinking about painting a rainbow lorikeet and gouache acrylics. Oh, well, there you go. Of course you can. Why can't you? Of course you can. Do it. It's buffering bad. Oh, no. I don't know why. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why. It's got to be the internet, but I don't know. Well, I'm just about done. Just about done. I'm just going to add some stronger colour to the bottom of his beak. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that to you guys. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm just going to add, re, re strengthen these highlights. Have a bit, bit bet down there on the back of his neck. Pop a bit more yellow onto his beak. He's got a bit of yellow down there. Bit of yellow in there. Bit of yellow there. All right. And I reckon I'm going to take the edges off. Let's see. This is the bit I love too. Taking off the edges, and you get that beautiful clean edge. And I haven't signed it. I need to sign it. So I'm going to sign it. I'm going to grab a brush and sign it down here in this bottom corner. My brush has gone and split into two edges. Hang on, there we go. And just put my initials down here. Like that. And I am going to call that done. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be releasing it as a time lapse as well if you've missed it. So thank you so much for being here, guys and girls. You guys and girls are a world of awesome. I will try and figure out this buffering issue. I don't understand why it's doing it. But, um, yes, I will try and figure it out. I've got... Oh, actually, you know what I need to do? I do need to add one little bit more bit. Whoops. Because I can see a little bit of... It's got pale. Got to be a bit careful here, though. I've cleaned my brush. Got to grab a little bit... Of green. I've got to add a little bit of a highlighty bit. Very pale. Just a couple of spots. Just add a little bit more variation onto the leaf and onto this one. Just a very pale blue grey. Green grey, like that. Okay, now I'm done. So thank you so much for being here, everyone. I will probably be back for another stream tomorrow. No idea what I'm going to do. So I'll see how the mop flops. But thank you for being here. Have an awesome day. 
And yeah, I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Okie doke, guys. Bye.